God. Not just any partner. Sometimes, really, as you've heard the brother, some you know things are, make no sense. So this is, I didn't plan it. I didn't say, okay, now. It was just wake up one morning, the air smelled differently, my heart felt different. I said, today is the day that I'm going to take Shahada. And I told the brother, come over to my house. He came over to my house. And he said, what do you want, man? Like, you don't know, I'm like, he's got the big beard. Like, <laughs> kind of like, stay away from me, man. And I'm like, I want to be a Muslim. He's like, I knew it. I knew it. You know what? Just to what the brother said. There was one time when I went to the masjid with him. In Ramadan. And they're praying tarawih. And I'm sitting there and praying, like, man, these guys are praying long. And after like, you know, two rakas, it's like sometimes 20 minutes or something. I'm like, man, this is a long prayer. Like, you guys always pray this long? And he's like, no, this is a special prayer. And uh, he's like, I shouldn't bother to but you know, you want to come. And then one brother came to me and he saw me and we were friends. And he kind of sees me, he's like, oh, I didn't see you for a long time. He's like, what are you doing here, man? He's like, are you Muslim? And subhanAllah, I slipped my tongue and I said, yeah. He's like, yeah. I'm like, no. He's like, yeah, Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar, this brother became a sir. And everyone's like, and I'm like, I'm like, no, 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 no. Like, I'm sorry, I, I, I made a mistake. But so in my heart, I wanted it. And all the people are like, Allah Akbar took me. And then the brother next to me is like, no, look, I'm not stopping. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, man. But you know, in that prayer, when I became Muslim, he told me, remember when we went to the masjid, man? I said, yeah. He's like, you know, I made in the sujood, I said, oh Allah, if this guy's sincere, guide him. The guy next to me, I was praying, I didn't know what I was doing, I was just sitting there like, oh man, you know, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three, and it's like taking a long time. But he was making dua for me in sujood. And he said, oh Allah, he told me, I said this, oh Allah, if this guy's sincere, guide him to Islam. And he told me to repeat after him. And subhanAllah, this is when the difficulty started. And that's a whole different, you know, two hours of lecture. But I mean, I'm going to wrap it up as I have no more time. Uh, forgive me for it, honey. But um, I want to leave you with two things. First of all, how many new Muslims are in this crowd? Hands up, please. One, two, three, four. How many non Muslims? Non-Muslims. Okay. Advice to the new Muslims. Because the Prophet said, Ad deen and see. Advice. The deen is the advice. And I'm not sitting here, you know, please don't think, Wallahi, I've been Muslim for eight years now. And you know what they say when you when you become Muslim, all your sins are forgiven. Now eight years is a long time. So if I look back I'm like I'm an old Muslim now. And I'm not here to lecture you to say I'm good, you know, I'm good, you know, I'm good. This is nothing. This is nothing. But this is advice that I've learned to myself, and I'm still struggling with some of these things. I don't know. I'll be very honest. Don't think to the new Muslims that once you've said La ilaha illallah, that's it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Alif la mim, hasib al nas an yatraku an yakul aman, fahum la yiftan. Alif la mim. Do people think? That they will be left alone on saying we believe and they will not be tested. We were tested before then, those. So that Allah will know who is truthful and who is lying. Good brothers and sisters, many people claim that I'm on a journey, a spiritual journey, journey to God. Trust me. God knows who is sincere. Many people take Islam for like, it's like, oh, you know, let's experience, let's go. Allah will know who is really sincere. Who did it for marriage, or who did it for this, or for that. If you are sincere, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make it apparent, and He will guide you, but He will test you. He will test you so much, to the point where you say, Matana sallallahu, when is the help of Allah coming? This is something that we have to remember. Don't think that once you become Muslim, it's like you've reached the pinnacle of things. It's not. It's the beginning. This is the beginning. And guess what? If you were to be just a walk in the park, just hold hands and dance, 
Prophet would be the first one to do it. And he was the one that texted the most and he said, when Allah loves someone, He'll test someone. He'll test, and the prophets were the ones who were tested. The ones who studied their lives. Who had a life where they can say, hey, no one, no one. So who are we to expect that things are going to be fine and dandy? You'll be tested, and you'll be tested and tested. SubhanAllah, to the point, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the process of saying that the believer will leave this dunya purified, subhanAllah. But you have to have the Iman, you have to have the patience, the sabr, the belief. Brothers and sisters, no Muslims, stick to the Jama'ah. Stick to the Jama'ah. And don't let go of the rope of Allah. This is the Quran and Sunnah. Stick to the Jama'ah. Stick to your brothers. Love your brothers. Don't be too strict on your brothers. Be humble, like the Prophet was. Love your brothers. Help your brothers. Be a family. The Ansar and Mahajirin. This is the model for how a new Muslim program should look like. Study that life, that period. This is something very important. Personal advice. Pray Fajr. If no other prayer, you can pray in the masjid. But you can always pray. But you can't pray. Pray Fajr and Isha in the masjid. Do your best. It doesn't matter if you have to call man. Pray those prayers in the masjid. SubhanAllah. This is the bread and butter. Then when there was nothing left, SubhanAllah, for me to hold on to, the Fajr prayer was what gave me spirit and strength. And the Prophet said, these are the two prayers that uh, hypocrites will tend to miss and to be hard to get to. So we don't want to be amongst, but pray and stick to the Jummah. And please, when you become Muslim, and forgive me for taking him. You know, uh, more in time. May Allah forgive me and please organize. Take your time. The deen is deep. We must change from religion where you're so spiritual, used to something, and then you start doing, you know, Allah Akbar and praying like this. You know, when you start learning to pray, it becomes like you're like robotic, right? You feel as it's like just movements and no meaning. Don't leave the meaning. You're forgetting something very important. The weapon of the believer. What is it? The dua. Make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from your heart. Ask Allah to help you. Allah understands you. Pray and ask Him to learn. فَقُلْ رَبِّ زِدْنِ عِلْمًا Allah, increase me in knowledge. Learn. We can learn songs. We can learn the name of every soccer and Bollywood star and age and how many kids and this and that. Before marriage, after marriage, height and everything. Head circumference. But we shy of learning Arabic, of learning our deen, learning the Qur'an. Wallahi, brothers and sisters, I went to a school of little kids. They're looking at me, they're like, are you Somali? <laughs> I'm like, um, I don't know. <laughs> really? And I said then, Alif, A, Ba, Ba, Bu. Ba, Bu, Bi, Ta, Tu, Ti. And I learned. And so I remember, SubhanAllah, first time I picked the Quran and the first time, the first ayah that I understood, it shook me. It shook me. I mean, it's like shivers came on my back and tears and you, you say, it's like Allah is talking to you. Isn't it? Because our deen, brothers and sisters, it's not about quantity or this or movements. It's about the quality. Do it properly. Do it with meaning, do it with heart, because guess what? This is the sunnah of the Prophet. If we say that we follow sunnah, let's follow the sunnah everywhere. Not in just a certain way, not just I'm wearing Gutra, you know, the third world, you know, not just that. Follow the sunnah in every aspect. Study the Sahaba, study the the, 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 the Salaf, study all those people and see who are they? How did they spend their nights? How did they help people? What they did? and see that it was not just an issue of body and looks, but also an issue of heart. This is something very important. Stick to that, learn that, stick to the Jama'at. Advice to non-Muslims. Pray to Allah. Pray to God, the Creator, whatever. 
you want to call it or don't call it anything other than I would say this is a very neutral thing and fair because it wouldn't go against your religion can a Christian have an objective and say I'm going to pray okay let's pray to the creator will he say oh I can't do that it's only the Muslim who will have an objection if you say let's pray to Krishna or Vishnu or something or Jesus no we can't do that but everyone can pray to the creator even the one who doesn't believe can say if there is a God out there to say a prayer please you know, guide me but say it sincerely say it from the bottom of your heart if the oh God oh creator cre the one who created this is a you know, statement that anyone should agree to the one who created everything please guide me and if you're sincere it's without a doubt without a doubt that you'll be guided look take it upon yourself to study Knowledge doesn't come by osmosis or diffusion. Take it up upon yourself. Question yourself. Question what you've learned. Question and look at Islam. And then pray. This is all I can, I can, you know, I can tell you do this and do that. We can debate and you know, but if you, you cannot be, you cannot, I cannot force you to accept Islam. There's books everywhere. There's knowledge everywhere. Brothers are here to talk, mashallah, progress. Ask, learn, but be humble. Be humble enough to accept the truth when it's presented. Because trust me, truth is not all subjective like here, it's objective. Truth is truth. There's night and there's day, and khalas, you cannot confuse the two. Do that. This is my humble request to you. This is, you know, our humble request to you. And we've conveyed the message that there's only one God. There's only one worthy of being worshipped. There's only one worthy. This is the true meaning of Kalimatun Tayyiba. There's only one deity worthy of worship, and that is Allah. Then Muhammad Sallallahu peace be upon him, is his final slave and messenger. And I conclude with this. Jazakallah khair. May Allah bless you all. And Allah forgive us and uh, have mercy on us. And peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi his companions, his family, and all those who follow him on the true guidance. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa